Today I'm going to show you how to connect to this distance sensor. It is the JSN SR04T and this sensor is waterproof. So I bought this because I'm actually going to use it and I thought I would show you real quick how easy it is to connect to this device. So we'll be using fourth and I have the Scamp 3 board. I'll leave a link below where you can buy one of these but it uses flash forth. So uh, right here it says that the effective range is from 23 to 600 centimeters. So if we go over here, we can see that uh, we're not going to get accurate readings if we're below these numbers. But I will show you a quick demo. And I wrote this word. I'll show you how to do this. It's called ping feet. And basically it's taking a, a measurement every 100 milliseconds and it's uh, pinging objects that are in the room. So if I take a box and I hold it up, well you can't see, but I'm holding a box up to the sensor and you can see that, you know, our distance, we can only get to like... I believe it's, you know, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, but if I back away, we can see that it's going to measure this object that I have currently. And, you know, it's, it's pretty accurate. So I'm gonna show you how all this stuff works. To set up the device, all you need to do is you're gonna short out the M2 pad right here. And what this does is it puts the um, the distance sensor into controlled serial mode. So all we need to do is we need to send 55 to the distance sensor and it will return some data. And this is real simple. I'll show you how to do it. The SCAMP 3 board makes it real simple to do. So on this board, I'm using the RX2 and the TX2 pins and I'm using the VN pin. And I checked this voltage with my multimeter and it does output five volts. Uh, this distance sensor does support 3.3 volts, but uh, right here it says C notes about 3.3. So if you read this, it says that if you do use 3.3, it's not as accurate as using five volts. Um, but you can read that in here. So this is a basic kind of diagram of what I have set up. I just have this connected to my computer. And in the next part, I'll just show you the code. Before I show you the code, here is a quick picture of what you need to do to put it in controlled serial mode. So basically just put a solder blob on this M2 part right here and you'll put the device in that mode. We'll cover the code real quick. All we're going to do, first of all, is set the baud rate. If you're using the TX and RX1 pins, you're going to change, you're going to use uh, U1 baud instead of U2 baud. So be careful of that. Next, we're going to empty the buffer. Again, if you're using RX1, TX1, you would change RX2 to RX1. So that's just going to clear the buffer. Next, we're going to do, we're going to add a decimal place. And in fourth, you want to add um, any type of text formatting. This is the words that you use. Basically, it's saying that it's going to take uh, any amount of characters, but you're going to hold if you get more than if you get two characters, you're going to hold it and put a decimal place. So, so if we get something like um, 1002, we're always going to put a decimal place, you know, after two characters. So if we get um, something like this, the decimal place is always going to go after these uh, two characters. So that's what this code does.
it's, it's always going to insert a decimal place. And these are, t are our two words, ing in feet and centimeters. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to empty the buffer. We're going to send 55 to the device. We're going to wait 100 milliseconds. And we're going to see if we have any uh, response. If we get a zero, then we have we go back and we do we clear, we empty the buffer, and we ask it again. It's only if we get four bytes back do we actually you know run through this routine right here. It's going to first give you a FF, so that's going to be kind of uh, I forget what that was. It's uh, but we're just going to drop it. And some people actually uh, check if it spits back FF or 255, and they'll do a check on that byte. But in this case, I'm just going to drop it. These next two bytes are going to be your most significant byte and your least significant byte. And this last byte that we receive is going to be a checksum. So we're just going to drop it. So with these two bytes that are on the data stack, we're going to rotate it around and we're going to multiply, I believe, the, mo the most significant byte by the least significant byte. And that's going to give us our, um, that's going to give us our centimeter conversion. And then we convert it to feet using this formula. And we wait until we press any key to stop the program. So uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. And really, this is three lines that you need to run. And I'll show you how this works. What I'll do now is I'll connect to the scamp board. I'll just do a test real quick. And you can see the LED light up, so we're probably good to go. And if you want to test this out, you can just run these two words. And you can send it 55. And you can check, and it seems that we do have uh, something on the data stack. This should uh, spit out four. So, um, so what I'll do is we'll just receive that data. So I'll just do rx2 four times, and you can see that the first thing we got was that 255 or ff. These this is our most significant byte and least significant byte. And this right here is a checksum. So we can drop that. And we can just, you know, do our conversion. And we can pretty much just kind of interactively figure this out. And this is pretty much how I developed this code. Is I just went through it line by line. I just sent it a um, 55 like the data sheet told me to and then use rx to see if anything was uh, to see if anything got returned and you know you can always clear it out so next time you do um, your send uh, you should get you know, four bytes and you can receive this, you know, one byte at a time or, or put it in a loop. Uh, but that's pretty much how this works. So we'll run ping feet and you can see that our device is just pinging. And, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. So if you have any questions about this, leave a comment, let me know, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.